Well, guys, uh, I don't get to show you a lot of failures, but when I have one, it's it's important to me that I do. Um, the yellow leaves on this squash is not related to what I'm about to show you. The squash handle would happen very well. This is squash bugs. And it's just, you know, I grow squash and I get as much as I can. And then when the bugs kill it, I'm done. But look at these uh, peppers. It looks like something's been gnawing on them. And it has. But that's not the real problem. It's, they've been gnawed on because they're weak. Look at the leaves. See how yellow the leaves are? They look like they're lacking for fertility. And they kind of are. Um, worse, this is arugula. And it's just, if you could see it, it's not... It's not crumbly, it's just, ugh, right? And I was hoping it would come back, it's not gonna. But what happened here, I mean, this is one of my wicking beds. This soil is like just the best soil ever. I've been working on it for a couple of years. Huge fertility, lots of biological life in it. Well, for you to understand what happened here, I want you to think about why they, why they uh, do rice patties the way they do. So what they do is they plant the rice in a rice paddy the rice starts to grow and once it gets to a certain height they flood the paddy they don't do this because rice likes to grow in flooded areas they do it because rice can grow in flooded areas so they flood it for a time and then they drain it and it kills all the weeds well have a look at that that's a root plug and i would guess that it probably came from that squash so it grew all the way over and if you look down in there it grew down that pipe and it plugged this, the return on this bed. And I came out one day and you could literally see like a quarter inch of water on the surface. The water was getting through, but just barely. And what happened, because I didn't pay attention to this, I've had so much going on this summer and trying to get out of here for vacation is I didn't notice it. If I had noticed it at any point and just reached in there and pull it out, crisis averted. But what was happening is the water table was slow. Instead of coming like gloop, one quick motion where I caught it the same day it happened, the water table was slowly rising, slowly rising, slowly rising. And by the time I came out here and I'm like, why does everything look so sad? And it didn't look like this. It just, it looked sad. And oh my God, oh, look, this is what's wrong. And I, what I ended up having to do is I had to actually reach in there. I couldn't pull the root out. I pulled the whole pipe out of the, the bottom bulkhead, cleared it immediately, it immediately returned. But uh, arugula, you know, the thing is, it's a short short season crop probably before i leave here what i'll do is i'll just push all this down i'll add a little thin layer of topsoil or like a soil mix like a you know something nice and i'll throw down some arugula seed and i'll just mulch over it'll be fine oh look little female squash right there so we'll have to watch her when her uh flower opens probably tomorrow i will manually pollinate this like i said i get short season squash so the squash is done okay with this but it just decimated the arugula and it really knocked. I think these guys will come back. I'm gonna give them some fertility. See, one of the, see the leaves are just falling off in some instances here. One of the problems is a lot of the fertility that was in this soil, it went away. That water leached it out. And it, you know, fortunately I balanced my ponds well enough, the pond handled it just fine. In fact, it's probably a boom to the, the celery and the ebb and flow beds in the back. But uh, yeah, we got some work to do. And this is one of those things, like usually I have a schedule I follow at least once a week. I come and I check all of my drains. You can see the drain right there. I just reach in and pull them out. And that way if there's anything in them, it gets cleared. But kind of got behind the... And it, usually it's not a problem. That's, that's the first time that's actually been an issue in a long time. But, uh, oh well. I wanted you to know, if you're building flow through wicking beds, that's something you got to plan for. And uh, I don't know if I built these a second time. I think what I might do is create um, two drains. Maybe a secondary drain. Two is one, one is none. We'll catch you guys later.